Free speech threatened? Woman who insulted French president faces trial. A French woman named Valerie has found herself in hot water after insulting French President Emmanuel Macron on social media. She reportedly referred to him as a piece of filth in a Facebook post, leading to her arrest and detention by French authorities. Valerie is now facing trial for violating the law that prohibits insulting the president. President Macron is facing intense scrutiny and criticism for his controversial pension reforms, which have sparked nationwide protests and strikes, as many French citizens are unhappy with the decision to raise the retirement age from 62 to 64. Valérie's case has also raised concerns about freedom of speech in France, with some questioning whether the law against insulting the president is too restrictive. The woman herself has expressed surprise at her arrest, saying she never expected to be treated like a criminal for expressing her opinions on social media. So, Armin, come back. There you are. Um, yes. You wanted to look, talk about this. Yes. And look, people are shocked. People are saying, what? And then what the actual exactly? And mm -hmm. this, yeah, seriously, France um, has such laws. Yeah. Do they have such laws? Is that like, how, I didn't even, what the hell? Why would France have such laws? The reason, do you know why I wanted to talk about this? I think I do. Why? What do you think? Well, okay. Because of the principles of free speech in general, and then also how people use certain aspects of French law to show about how our Western Enlightenment standards, quote unquote, are hypocritical. This is a common line used by Muslim apologists in particular. No, yeah, but also because I want us to be fair, right? Because mm -hmm. I don't want us to just be one-sided, right? Because a lot of times um, we show what's wrong with some countries that we don't like. And then when people attack countries that we generally like more, we see those attacks as unfair and criticize them. But we don't want to, we don't want to be by completely, you know, biased here. Um, and some biases are justified, but we don't want to be so blindly biased that we don't see um, the same type of um, mistakes. I mean, the same types of uh, flaws coming from the places that we so often support, right? So for the sake of not being hypocr hypocritical, because France, we have celebrated France as a country that constantly has uh, stood for free speech with regards to the cartoons of Muhammad and standing with all the people who want to express their freedom of expression with a, you know, and criticize religion. And then all of a sudden now, when it comes to criticizing the, uh, you know, the, the president himself, they're, they're treating people like criminals. I mean, how could they have such laws? I mean, this will, this will complete question their entire, you know the position that they have because they're like we can't we're not gonna force any laws enforce any laws against people who draw muhammad why because of, and they say because of free speech i'm like okay yeah yeah free speech france and everything but now then what is this now muslims many muslims will have a point they're like okay what if you have muslims who say if this upsets you and you don't like this insult and you are punishing the person, then how come you are doing this selectively? Why are we not applying these laws to things that makes us upset? Why are we applying these laws that on things that makes you upset? There seems to be a double standard here. And I, you know, these Muslim, any Muslims will say that they have a point. Like, what the hell? What's up? What's going on? I don't know. What do you guys think? No, I agree with you. So I pulled up a little bit more information about this law and um, people will have to excuse my butchering of the French language. Um, in France, insulting the president is a criminal offense under the offense of, quote, offense au chef de l'art, offense to the head of state and is punishable by law. Article 26 of the French press law states that anyone who insults the president of the republic is punishable by a fine. Um, it's worth noting that the law only applies to insults directed at the president himself 
and not to criticism of his policies and actions. However, the distinction between in insults and criticism can sometimes be blurred, leading to controversy and debate over the application of the law. You know, this is absurd. This is absolutely absurd. But why would they have this law? Like, why would you have this law? What's the benefit of having this law? What the, what, what this, I mean, especially a government and a president that has constantly been arguing for free speech. I mean, you are shooting yourself in the foot. You look like a fool. You look like a hypocrite. I mean, even if you had this law, you guys should, you, it would have been strategically in your benefit if you just been like, okay, guys, this is going to make us look so bad. Let's maybe, let's like, let's not enforce this one. But you just went ahead and did it. Mm -hmm. What did you get out of this? Like what? It, okay, I'm, I'm, here's I'm the thing. Yeah. It says the law that makes insulting the president of France a criminal offense has been in place since 1881. The, I was going to say this sounds super antiquated. It is because in Spain they also have a similar, you know, kind of archaic law about insulting the king, right? Um, mm like what's it called less majest or something it is part of the french press law which was originally enacted to protect freedom of the press and to regulate the press industry over time the law has been amended and expanded to cover other forms of expression beyond the press including speech and online communication despite some criticism the law has remained in place and been used to prosecute individuals for insulting the president on various occasions yeah people are saying just delete that damn law for i know it's sake. so it's so backwards yeah and troyal is saying the french president is sometimes presented as a sort of elected monarch because of the pompous nature of the office and this is akin to what is this I don't know. Uh, I less majest french. law i don't know how to pronounce oh, it the okay. right way okay and do um, you think google says Oh, you want to read this one? Go ahead. Oh, Google says France got rid of its law criminalizing offending the president in 2013, but it added the president to the list of state officials receiving special protection from defamation. Well, why? But well, why? I, 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 know. I, I want to know the answer. Is this just like, I, why? What is it like? It, this is itself the bigger attack on the president. To have this law is a bigger insult to the president because the way people will look at you if you punish somebody who insulted you that that's worse than the insult like the damage that you get from the, like she called him a piece of filth okay that her that damage from that is so minor to the to the damage that you're getting from everybody realizing that this is now a crime in france i still i'm trying to understand like why would they put that there i don't know that is. i know okay, gj I know. is saying yeah. he's saying the netherlands yeah, also on. still has a gravely insulting anyone on law books as crime punishable with fines public service and or up to six to nine months in prison in criminal records i know when i was in austria i was learning about the laws surrounding insulting people and it was absolutely insane i don't know this really reminds me just like you know the u.s, I, I hold the of, US is, yeah we got the best model we got the best model yeah 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 see he that, and this is the most important things okay Every time you go, Susie, every time you go to Europe and you get jealous of the things that you like about Europe that U.S. doesn't have, okay, just remember that you have the most important thing, okay? They have many things that is better than the U.S., many things, okay? But they don't have the free speech that the United States has, mm -hmm. and nothing is more important than that. Nothing is more important. Yeah. Oh, Secular Sakai just donated one membership to Artin. Thank you, Secular Sakai. Oh, thank you. That's very generous, very generous, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, I think that this was an important one to cover. Yeah. Because, like, France, they could really improve their standards. Come on, guys. Come on, friend. You know what? We should all call uh, Macron. Can we do that and still be have our YouTube channel in France? Can we call him Macron? You're a piece of filth. I just committed a crime. <laughs> in France. <laughs> oh my god i just guys you just like uh, what are you gonna do about it huh? what are you gonna do huh <laughs> get my best selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description